furniture. What a beautiful thing. Let's all agree that everybody has it. Like for the most part, 99% of people, just about everybody. And I wanna learn how to build it all. At 24 years old, I'm embarking on a lifetime journey of creating the world's best furniture. If I was older, I mean, this would probably be something like a midlife crisis, but uh, I swear I'm doing fine. So like Frodo on his journey to Mount Doom, this is going to be a long and difficult journey, but we have officially started with our first piece. It is not the Shire, it is the Isabella, what, hold on, let me just look at my phone. It's, it's, <laughs> it's the Isabella Urban Outfitters Entertainment Center. So with a budget of just $100, we head to Home Depot to buy all of our materials. We bought MDF board for $56, paint and prime for another 25, a brush and roller for $15, and sandpaper for $4. So with with all my materials gathered and honestly no idea what I'm doing, I decided to measure my wood and measure my TV so that everything could be aligned. And from there, what else to do but just start cutting wood? Seems like the perfect place to start. Well, that's actually couldn't be further from incorrect because of this next clip when I start to have my first crisis. This is the cut of an eight-year-old whose parents weren't looking and they picked up a table saw. We're gonna have to fix this. Okay, all right, let's uh... <laughs> Let's get to it before I have a episode. And that's when I realized I don't have all the tools that I need and, and a jigsaw isn't gonna cut it. I just can no longer live my life without a circular saw, specifically one bought from my mother. All right, so we are at my little tiny desk that I've created. And as I was just complaining that I need a circular saw, my mom stopped by because I've been traveling for a while and she hadn't seen me. So she just stopped by the apartment and lo and behold, Megan, who's my fiance on vacation, has our joint debit card. And my mom has her own debit card. So guess what my mom's buying today? Little did I know what I was getting into. Apparently I'm buying a circular saw all right we're gonna get a circular saw thanks to my mom and then we're gonna get food and then lo and behold i will be back so now with a pushed budget of 170 dollars i had all of the materials i need and i felt like i was on top of the world now my first cuts they weren't great but after about 10 minutes of using a circular saw let me show you what i've made now don't expect much but this is the straightest I have ever cut any piece of wood. But okay, yeah, I, I think there's nothing else to do other than to start cutting because the sun is going down soon. And next up came the easiest process of this project, which was sand. I've learned that you need to sand the sides of MDF board because paint is not going to stick to it very well unless you do so. And next up came another seemingly easy step. I primed every side of my wood and then waited an hour and primed it again. And then I waited an hour and painted my wood and then I waited another hour and painted the same side. And I know I dropped out of college twice, but my math is loaded here on my phone. So with 12 planks of wood and each plank had two sides and I needed to paint four hours per side, I would now be painting and priming for the next 96 hours. Yeah, that, that took forever, but I will say it was very easy to paint. It just was very time consuming. But regardless, my next problem came in the shape of a dowel. Now, if you're unfamiliar with dowels, these are the cheap little pieces of wood that come in every Wayfair or Ikea package that can form two pieces of wood together. And my problem here was just that I couldn't figure out how to line up two pieces of wood to one dowel. You know, I could put a dowel into a piece of wood, but then when I stick that other piece of wood to another piece of wood, how do I line that up? Now the answer is I literally don't know. Still to this day, I, I couldn't tell you. And so we ran with idea number two, a way easier idea, construction adhesive. And once I laid out all of my wood and then glued it together, we are now reaching the end of this process. But in order to paint the realism of this situation, you can see a moment where I thought I lined up all of my wood cuts incorrectly and I start to just have a slight panic attack. Yeah, no, not the most fun journey I've ever started, but I'm definitely, better now than I was when I began. And so yes, with my construction adhesive in hand and in mind, I glued all my pieces of wood together. I waited 24 hours. And honestly, the piece of furniture was kind of complete. Okay, and so here we are with the final product of this entertainment center. Now for my first piece of furniture, I genuinely love how this came out. Now I started this project just with a dream of maybe being able to make furniture someday, but I really do think that this came out incredible. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen this in my Instagram reel. While making this, I broke my big toe. That's not a joke. I was woodworking in Birkenstocks one night at 3 a.m. and a piece of wood fell on my big toe and it broke. I do feel that every time I watch a DIY 
my YouTuber make something. Uh, it, it's almost uninspiring how well it goes. But the entire time I was making this, I would keep having to go through hurdles and just thinking, why does nobody else who makes videos go through these problems? And that's just to say that nothing online is real. Now, if you're following along and watching this just because you want to make the exact same thing, I'll include my measurements and a blueprint to what I made in the description. But all right, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and do all that jazz. And uh, follow me on Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.